In this uh, quick little video, we're going to look at how you calculate slope from a graph. So we will have two general kinds of graphs. We're going to have a distance or maybe displacement time graph. And then this is a displacement time graph. And we will also have a speed or velocity time graph. And knowing the difference is really important. We're going to start with this, but you could calculate the slope for any straight line if you were um, to use this here. So slope equals rise over run. And so when we're calculating the slope and calculating the rise over run, what we want to do is pick two points on the line. So ideally we want to pick two points that are going to be on the line and we don't want to use data points. So sometimes when we're plotting our line we get these nice data points like this and they make a line. We're not technically supposed to use those data points. This one, the data points have been are a bit more scattered because they've got a line of best fit and it doesn't touch the data points. So it'll make it a little easier to select points to use for this. So if I was to pick um, maybe this point here, this point here is at, um, when we're picking points, it always goes X and then Y. So this will be 1.0 seconds and it is at 0, 0.0 meters. Then if I picked this point here, this point here is at 6.0 seconds, and it looks like it's not 8, but 8 point, so it's going to go, sorry, it's going to go about here. So, um, probably going to be about an 8.8 eight meters would be the distance. I'm going to have to kind of estimate that because you can see that this is a distance of 2. If it was 9, it would be halfway in between this. So I'm estimating that that's going to be about an 8.8 .8 on here. But now that I've got those spots, this is my x1 y1, this is my x2, y2. And slope is rise over run. So it's y2 minus y1 and x2 divided by x2 minus x1. So my slope, ooh, which I have severely mixed messed this up, so this is slope, is going to be equal to my y2 is 8.8 .8 meters minus 0, 0.0 meters and my x2 is 6.0 seconds minus 1.0 seconds. So my slope is going to be equal to 8.8 .8 .8 meters divided by 5.0 seconds and so this gives me 1.76 meters per second, but that's too many sig digs. So 1.8 meters per second is the slope. And if we look at the units here, the units meters per second is the same as speed. So speed equals 1.8 meters per second, but this has displacement so this would be a positive, and it wouldn't be speed then if it's got a direction, because it says it's a displacement, this would be velocity. Right? So the slope of a displacement time graph is velocity. The slope of a distance time graph would be speed. Right? And that the change in distance over the change in time equals the speed and velocity is the change in displacement over the change in time. And that's what we're calculating here because we have displacement, which is a vector, and um, that gives us our speed. 
So anytime that we're doing this, we need to pick two spots on the graph and then we can calculate the average slope by using the y value, y2 minus y1, divided by the x2 minus x1, and I need to um, make sure that I've got the order of operations right. So I do my uh, subtracting to get my value of the numerator and the subtracting for the value of the denominator correctly. Hopefully that helps you understand slope. And slope can also be used for um, a speed time graph or a velocity time graph. But in this case, if I was doing rise over run, in this case, my units, so my slope for this would be meters per second divided by seconds and this will give us meters per second squared and in that case the slope is acceleration. So we get a different kind of a unit but it's still going to be the slope of this line is what we'd be calculating use rise over run.